Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings, Alishan Mo here. This is a Flywing Huey UH-1 uh, GPS featured RC helicopter, and I'm here at this, uh, uh, you know, other spot where I normally fly. So I'm going to show you how to fly this helicopter. Okay. Now, before you fly, you need to make sure that you have complete lock on GPS satellites. Let me show you how. So after you connect the battery, you have to wait, and the first thing you need to make sure is that when your radio is in GPS mode, the flight mode is in GPS, there is a solid green LED. And I will show you how to unlock the motor because many people are having trouble unlocking the motor. They said nothing happens. Basically what you need to do, if you are connected and you have response from helicopter, what you do is put the helicopter in 3D mode and you see your uh, swash plate starts moving okay so you have response right there uh, this means you are connected so now if you still think that your helicopter is not responding not flying it's because uh, you know you're not doing things right so let me show you how to arm the motor now to arm the helicopter I will show you how to do uh, first thing you need to do is that make sure throttle is zero okay and you will have to hold the stick left down left and you see the light starts blinking now you can flip the motor arm switch and then the helicopter will start the motor otherwise it will not similarly if you want to disarm the motor just put the you know rudder down right and solid LED now whatever you do the motor will not arm okay so put the canopy on and you're ready to take off and now that you know how to arm the motor put the helicopter in GPS mode okay first unlock the motor and then arm rotor will start spinning make sure the throttle is in the middle okay let it spool up raise the throttle and it will take off and it will hold its GPS position all right now when you're ready to fly just make sure the throttle is in the middle and you can start flying it around. It's just that simple. Most of the time if you are getting it ready to fly, you will have a spring-loaded throttle. So you don't have to worry about it. But if you have set it up with Radio Master TX16S, just like you know I did with mine, you will have to hold mid-throttle all the time. Now make sure you don't hit the 3D switch okay or motor disarm during flight because if you do helicopter will fall like a stone if you disarm the motor during flight so stay away from that switch Two minutes. this helicopter looks beautiful in the sky man very realistic very beautiful Nobody is on the road, so I can just hover it around myself right here. One of my tail fin is broken just now because I carried it in the boot of the car and other helicopter actually hit the tail fin. It's really very easy to fly in GPS mode <coughs> and gives you plenty of time to think, react to your orientation, very responsive. But do remember it can get fast even in GPS position hold mode. And if you want, leave the throttle in the middle. You can put it in the circle mode. No tree here, so this tree a little worrying, but um, no, it will not go to that tree. So you see, this is the circle mode. Now I'm just holding the radio and watching the helicopter doing circle all by itself. Okay, so I'm gonna disable the circle mode go forward a little and put it in figure eight mode so now you can see it's gonna fly figure eight all by itself Four minutes. now 
Now, sometimes when you're flying figure eight, and if it is not doing that precise, like keeping the nose in the figure eight, um, you know, motion, and it's just doing it like sideways, but it's still flying figure eight, you know, something like this, for example, uh, it's doing this way, you know, during figure eight, like that, see? Now it's really not like that figure eight. So this is basically because you actually disorientate it. So you can control it during the figure eight, yaw it, and it will do. But if you never get a very stable figure eight, just now, like the one you saw, it was flying very beautiful figure eight, not like circling, because now I'm circling. That means you have to do compass calibration once again. So go ahead, go home, connect the H1 uh, flight controller to your computer, use the ASUS program, do the compass calibration dance, and then come back and fly. So you will not have this kind of thing. Normally, if your uh, figure eight is not doing very well, you can actually, you know, just do it one more time, disable it, orient it, the helicopter nicely, fly a auto circle, and then you know fly again the figure eight and it should do but i would like to fly figure eight manually by myself as you are watching it it is absolutely a joy to fly flying huey uh1 now one more thing i would like to talk about is that one person says his helicopter is falling after two three minutes for no reason it just will you know start landing and or abruptly fall to ground though his battery is on 15 volts well it's because because uh, let me show you the helicopter is hovering here it's because the helicopter is shipping with a smaller battery like this which says 52 watt hour okay and 14.8 volt 52 watt hour bt 52 volt that battery is mostly good for 450 v3 the upcoming helicopter plenty of flight time but this helicopter is slightly heavy and to fly this helicopter for 20 plus minutes you will need a 5000 milliamp battery I will suggest that you get this BT5074, 5000 milliamp, 14.8 volt, 74 watt hour LiPo battery, okay? So this is the battery right here. This is what you want to have for this helicopter. And this heli- look at that, mashallah, what a beautiful hole was there, that's solid. And this helicopter will fly 20 plus minutes with this battery and you will not have helicopter falling to abrupt landing all by itself because the smaller battery is 3000 milliamp only i believe or 2800 milliamp and given the weight and power of this helicopter you will need a bigger battery that battery will finish very soon and your helicopter will start to abruptly land or you know activate RTS low battery RTS so if you're flying with a smaller battery I will suggest you disable the low battery RTS even flying with a bigger battery I have disabled the low voltage RTS because sometimes well most of the time that feature is the culprit because it will you know as soon as like especially in winter when the battery gets to a lower punch a lower level or juice gets lower it will activate RTS so disable that feature people and you know fly this helicopter with a 5000 milliamp battery now you don't have to actually must have a flywing 5000 milliamp battery you can actually buy any 14.8 volt 5000 milliamp battery and fly the Huey UH-1 without worries just make sure the dimensions of the battery will fit awesome man so i didn't do any 3d or any aerobatics because you know here is they don't do any aerobatics or 3d now let's land and conclude this very first flight of well sorry the second flight of 
2023 for QE UX1 helicopter. This is the second flight. Yes, I just flew it at the stadium site. So this is the second flight, second RC flight of uh, Huey UH1. The very first RC flight was, you know, flying FW450 V3. You'll watch those videos soon. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy, just hit it! Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.